Hey guys, welcome back to Code is Arcade. This is Ashank David, and in today's video, I am going to explain you guys about the complete roadmap of learning artificial intelligence and machine learning. So, if you are new to this channel, I would like to ask you to please like, share, and subscribe to our channel Code is Arcade, and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. Now, let's get right into the concept, guys. In this video, let us talk about the complete roadmap of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Now, before I start, let me explain you a quick introduction to what is artificial intelligence and machine learning. You see, in today's world, in right now, currently in 2024, the ending of 2024, the start of 2025, from past one or two years, not one or this recent two years. Artificial intelligence is becoming so popular in today's modern world. And you see that any app that you use, you use WhatsApp, you use Instagram, you use Snapchat, you use Photoshop, or you use Facebook, everywhere you see there is an artificial intelligence involved there. In our day-to-day -day life, people there are hundreds, hundreds of people using ChatGPT. You see a lot of our viewers like you must be using ChatGPT. You see that artificial intelligence is everywhere. So what exactly is this? See, artificial intelligence is a subset of computer science, which allows you to create such kind of systems, which can do all the tasks which a human being can perform, but without human interference. Everything that a human being can perform can be done by artificial intelligence. Any type of cognitive ability, or any type of you know thinking ability, everything can be performed by artificial intelligence. This is an intelligence made artificially by humans. So so far till now, computers were dumb, right? Computers were just a dumb machine. And you saw that if you wanted to do anything in computers, like creating a website or creating an app or developing anything, you would write a program. You would do programming, right? Because programming was one of the only ways to communicate between us and the computers. Programming was the only way and computers were really dumb. But now computers will have their own intelligence through which they can do our jobs, making our jobs even much more easier to do and perform. Hence, giving us precision in those kind of tasks, which we always try to do perfectly. Well, this is artificial intelligence. And you see, machine learning is a subset of that artificial intelligence field. You see, artificial intelligence, you have understood. Now, when we talk about machine learning, you see machine learning is another subset of artificial intelligence only, which deals with creating those kind of systems, which takes the data, learn from it and performs a task and hence doing an artificial intelligence job. See, machine learning is one of the subsets of artificial intelligence. And there are various types of machine learning. So we will be talk about in, uh, talking about that as well. You see, there are three types majorly. You see, supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement. Now, already I have created a separate video explaining you about what is artificial intelligence and machine learning. So I'll give you the link of that video into the description below, as well as I'll give it that into the I button. So you can go ahead and watch that as well. But in this video, I would just like to explain you about the roadmap. You see, the importance of machine learning and artificial intelligence is so much right now in this world that it becomes very crucial for all of us to learn about it as well. So for those people who are really interested in learning about artificial intelligence and machine learning, this video is the right video to understand. Now, guys, when we start machine learning, when we start artificial intelligence, we cannot directly start with machine learning and artificial intelligence as a subject. You see, it's a part of technology. It's a kind of a, it's a separate technology. And if you want to learn that, you first need to do basic programming. Now, if you are able to do basic programming first, then you will be able to do algorithms that are applied in artificial intelligence and machine learning to achieve solving that problem, which doesn't require human interference. So first step is to learn programming and which programming language we should use. You see, there are a lot of programming languages. Generally, when you are uh, learning engineering, if you are a computer science engineer or you are an information science engineer or any type of you know, engineer related to computers, you see, or any type of basically person who deals with computers 
or started learning programming, you first go with C programming, right? But the catch here is that C programming, C++ or Java or these kind of programming languages are not as good for doing artificial intelligence or machine learning. You see, there is one language which is perfectly fine to do machine learning and artificial intelligence and you know that language. You know about that. You might have heard about that and that is called as Python programming. You see, Python programming is the only and the not the only but the very efficient and the easiest way of learning uh, programming as well as that is one of the kind of best easiest programming language which allows you to learn artificial intelligence and machine learning very easily. So very first step I would recommend is to learn Python. And once you start learning Python, you will see a lot of concepts there that are going to be very crucial to understand about machine learning. You see, late first you will start with variables, data types, you will learn about uh, conditional statements, if else, match case, you know, control flow statements. You see, you will talk about loops, you will learn about a uh, lot of things in Python to understand basic programming, how basic computer programming works. Then you will learn about a little bit of advanced Python, where you will learn about object-oriented programming. You will be learning about um, a list, tuple, sets, dictionaries. These are collections which you will be later on using to create data frames that will be used to uh, you know, feed into machine learning models later on. So Python uh, collection frameworks you will be learning. Then uh, you after you finish learning python basic python plus advanced python you see you cannot i won't you know i won't you know give you a suggestion to directly go into machine learning i would suggest you to first go into data science field because it will be like when you after learning python and basic python and advanced python you will be capable of writing programs but you see machine learning is not all about writing programs See, machine learning is a lot of theory concepts are involved in there. And there are a lot of algorithms. You see, when you see a machine learning algorithm or a machine learning problem, you might think that I can solve this problem very easily, but you will not be able to write programs carefully. Right? So to do that, you have to understand data science first. You see, data science is a field of, you know, it's, it's kind of a field of not only just artificial intelligence, but also it's a field of data analysis. You see, as the name suggests, data science. You see, data science is a, is a field where we learn about data, where we work with data. The science of data is data science. You got it? And in data science, you will learn about a lot of Python libraries again. It's even more advanced, where you will learn about Python libraries like NumPy, you will learn about pandas. You will learn about uh, data visualization libraries like Seaborn, Matplotly, Plotly. Okay, a lot of things. You know, geographical plotting. You will learn about how, and you might have uh, seen in TVs about how they plot the weather into a map. Like those kind of things, you will learn in data science. You see, once you are able to play with the data, clean the data, and you need visualize the data. A lot of things can be easily done there. You understand a point? So in this case, you will need to learn about data science. Once you learn about data science, I would recommend you to then after that go towards machine learning. You see, when we will talk about machine learning, in machine learning concepts, you will start by learning the algorithms. You see, there are three types of machine learnings you will be learning there. First, supervised, then unsupervised and then uh, reinforcement learning. Now more about these three in another video, another separate uh, talking video, well, I'll uh, talk about that later on, but I've already created that video and I have one, I have already created one video where I've already explained you in, in depth about that. So link is already given in the description and already it is there in the I button for this video. Okay, so you can go ahead and watch that. But once you start with supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement, slowly, slowly you will progress and you will learn about algorithms like uh, regression, association, okay, classification, clustering, okay, random forest, 
support vector machines, deep neural network uh, uh, things like that. You, you will learn about all those algorithms. And once you start learning those algorithms, your knowledge will be extended with data science plus Python. You will be easily be able to write programs and write algorithms. The easiest way to implement an algorithm is to first understand it and implement it by our, our own. Once you are able to do that, you will master the machine learning algorithms. And once you do that, you are done with that. You will be able to, uh, you know, solve problems related to machine learning algorithms. And you will be able to later on create your own algorithms. And that will contribute to eventually create a whole artificial intelligence system. So this is as a whole will become the environment for artificial intelligence for you later on. And guys, this is the complete roadmap which I wanted to explain you about artificial intelligence and machine learning in one video. Now, more different parts and I'll keep on, uh, you know, coming on, uh, coming with these kind of videos uh, eventually in coming time, telling you more about artificial intelligence and machine learning. But this video, I wanted to dedicate you to only understand about roadmap, a complete roadmap to where to start from till where to go on. And I hope so that you have understood this really well. Well, if you have any doubts related to the roadmap, you can definitely ask us in the comment section and I'll try my best to clear all your doubts as much as possible. Well, speaking about in general artificial intelligence, this is all the things which you require to learn about that. And that's all guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is Ashang David. I'm going to sign off now. And I'll see you in the next one. More videos coming up related to artificial intelligence and machine learning. I'll talk about uh, different types of algorithms and all. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe and stay safe. And that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Happy learning.